Okay, we are up here now with Trevor. And look who I see over there. got rid of Trevor's giant no beard. Yeah, they kind of are. Like now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. You are just perfect, Crazy Cakes. Crazy Cakes. I'm gonna solve them back to Franklin here after this. You're so gonna crash! No, you are. You're incredible! Marry me! Be done with this! Shut up! Don't talk to me! <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. I've gone over for a one. <laughs> she told me to jack off and do a sock. Alright, I guess we're going to go meet up with Barry for some reason. Yeah, 
What? Is that the mission? That can't be the mission. I guess in the meantime, I'll go to Beverly. Sure Rule mission. number one, <laughs> never trust a fucking stone. Beverly's literally right up the street, so I may as well just go to him. Right. Yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of my own stuff. One of my properties I bought off screen. Hey, you just turned this into a bucket! Not quite a bucket. <clears throat> So what does Beverly want? I swear I thought I was done with both of these guys. So what does Beverly want? Gaia! Motherfucker, would you stop doing this shit? Oh, oh it's you. Yeah, how's it going, homie? <sighs> yeah. Hey, uh, you see me, Incredible Lincoln? Yeah, Trevor Phillips, but I doubt if you want a picture of him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wasn't he uh, in, 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 in the room? <laughs> nah, nah. Oh, shit, I gotta go. This is me. I love how you brought up Trevor. So what else is there other than one other thing? I can do that with Frank Lair. Okay, I forgot that Trevor was still up here. Um, Nigel's got something. It's just a possession. Let it go. Oh, no! shit. Don't be a hero now. <laughs> We're idiots. Hey, it's Ron. What is this old fogey up to? Celebs wheels. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, she can throw herself under my wheels anytime. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were funny, Josh. Yeah. I knew I would like you. Can I have a hug? No. Okay. Yeah. You're a nutcase is what you are. Uh, I've got a protruding hip. It's not a semi. Nigel! John! No. You won't believe what's happened! What? Only Alvin Appley walking. He actually walks! He walks he among us. us! Well, then what are you freaks waiting for? Well, that's a long story. A mistaken identity. And a lot of lies. Stalking is not what I would call it. It is stalking. I told the judge I thought it was unfair. Yes, anyone's trousers could have come undone at that point. Exactly. <laughs> Jolly bad luck. And we were such fans. If only we could talk to him. Yes, I know it was only... His lawyers and agents. They ruin everything. If we could only get him somewhere private. You see, like that little lockup I know. No problemo. Look, there he is. Oh, shit. It's that crazy English bitch again. <laughs> to the chariot. To Talk the chariot. Quick, he's getting away. He hasn't even left. He's taking a left turn down the high street, Doc. The what? Bitch. Did you ever imagine we might get a private audience with Al Di Napoli? Only in my wildest dreams. All those nights spent role playing in Mother's utility room. If only we'd known. I loved him in the Redeemer. Oh, Nigel, do your Aldenapoli line. This is turban warfare, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor Jock must think we're batty. Oh, don't be silly. Oh, my word, Jock. Do you see that lorry? What the fuck's a lorry? Have a little faith. Anyone what think this was my first kidnapping? I hear that behind his charitable public face, He's remarkably right wing. One can but hope. Liberal in the bedroom, conservative at the border, Mrs. Bronco. <laughs> Queen Law. Everything okay there, Earl Crazy Cakes? My prostate has taken quite a beating. You have to lower the tone. Glad to see you on the proper side of the road, dear boy. Oh, I hope he likes us. This must be second nature to you, Jock. Almost. Is he going through the hospital? Oh, my lord! Hold on to your corsets! Oh, this thing burns out like crazy. Uh, seems rude not to follow him through the window. Saka, where are we? Ah, uh, would you like me to escort your guest of honor to the trunk? Well, if you don't mind. Oh, come here, you. Come on. Come on, let me meet your biggest fan. <laughs> oh my god. You're good to go. Ah, a true gentleman. This is so exciting. Nut jobs. Yeah, no kidding. Hundred percent. There's something down here. Barry. Great. Actually, Cletus has something. All right, brother, here we are. Awesome. I think 
I think if I finish this last thing as Franklin, I'll have the only stuff as Trevor. Actually, what do I have that's even left? There's Barry. Nigel's done for the time being. <laughs> Apparently Franklin has a few things. There you are, Trevor. Ah, oh, but ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? How about Ann Dandy, sir? You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. What is this thing in my mouth? And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them, and they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. Alright, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Hunt the elk. I can't even see him. Where the fuck is it? Come here, elk. Damn it! Where the fuck was it? I didn't see where it was. Alright, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? No. Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Oh, he was over here. <laughs> That's a diaphragm. Mm -hmm. An elk whistle, you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Okay, you hear that? He's over there. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. Again. See if you can get a beat on him. 
I got something. Get on to that rock. Same as before. Nice and steady. You leave that door alone now, Trevor. Oh, I thought that was the elk. Now lay him in the shadow. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me a pic of your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. Hunt the elk. There he is. Photograph the corpse. Send to Cletus. Okay. Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now. If we divide and conquer, I reckon we can make ourselves a tidy little sideline. Text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. Hey, boo. I knew you couldn't stay away. Where's the crack hole one? Tiny, do you ever clean your raggedy bitch ass up? <laughs> Fuck you, Lamar. I mean, Franklin, or whatever. Not Everybody Lamar. Void going vine wood means I ain't hitting the pipe like 1992. This shit, I'm guilty as charged. Punk ass. What? Bitch ass. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. But where's your love for the hood? JB ain't doing good. He needs help. We need your help, nigga. We gonna lose everything. Ah, right. shit. What do I gotta do? Same as before, boo. A little help with the tow truck. Nothing for a real man like you. All right. You just get yourself together. Your ass done went crazy. Go to the tow truck. You never could say no to me, Franklin Clinton. I ain't so cracked out I don't remember that night behind the burger shop. Not this again. What, we was like 13? But you was a man after that night. Damn, every time with this shit. And nothing even happened. It's all good, baby. I know that wound ain't healed. 
truck, you know the drill. Who says it's our truck? <laughs> like your aunt, you mean? I saw her fake jogging the other day, chanting some whacked out. Look out, man. Chanting some whacked out nonsense. That bitch is crazy. That bitch is crazy. Yeah, that we can't agree on. And I got qualifications, honey. Like hell you do. I got a certificate in cosmology. You never see my nails. What, you going into space now? You always did think you were so clever. Remember Davis High? You didn't learn shit at that school. <laughs> and you got your math from the corner. Got your math from the corner in Davis. Go to the illegally parked car. Jesus. Oh, this mission is stupid. Hey, <laughs> Joe Dick. This ain't a job for making new friends, is it? I thought you've been into some repo work. Yeah, that's true. Same shit, but nicer calls. It's an honest dollar, and there ain't many of those around. An honest dollar that I ain't seen yet. Man, JB need to get his head straight. JB's going through a hard time. A hard time sitting on his ass smoking crap? I gotta keep his hours up. Word is they gonna sell the business. I knew owner ain't good news for the drivers with no papers. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. JB sold his social for a piece two years back. I see the problem, but I just don't see that as mine. You too good to cover a brother now? I'm here, ain't I? I've been covering that brother for 20 years. We'll do this, end it off, <clears throat> start the next one. I'll probably be Trevor from here on out. Thank God. 